and played the pass well. Well, very effective play in possession. Intercepting it intelligently. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. This looks interesting. Chance here, Kramaric. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Now can they counter clinically? They need to get bodies back. And it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Tottenham Hotspur taking on Leicester City. Ramsey. But a goal to update you on. It's gone in on the City game. And Alex Scott has the details. It's his second goal for Manchester City. It was a low-driven cross, and he was never going to miss from there. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 64 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. And making headway, but fair play. That goes down as a very good recovery. And the pass could do damage. Sancho. In position. Oh, and off the bar. Let's see about the delivery. Chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. The high press was very much on. Habib Diallo. And lining it up. Ramsey! Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. Well, news to bring you from the Everton game, and Alex Scott is on the case. It's another goal for Liverpool. They've pulled one back with 76 minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? It's looking promising. Well, it all counts for naught. Well, not long left now, but these Villa fans still believe they can get back into this one. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Ten minutes to go. Sancho, played towards the back post, couldn't quite hang on, and second time around he scores, but the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky, he makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Ramsey has it. Well, no stopping him. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And we've got a real opening now. Convert. And it took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. 
Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. It hasn't come to very much. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Now can they counter clinically? The supporters want to see him have a go. Might be dangerous. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. That'll be a Spurs ball. Very quick thinking there. Oh, he's through here. Well, the referee might have to send him off. But I think he knew that was coming. Yellow card it is. Well, that was always going to happen. He needs to control himself now, otherwise it could get worse. Kramaric gives it a go! Oh, the post denied him. Habib Diallo. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping, real concentration. Can he deliver it with accuracy? The pressure was high and they could be in here. And there goes the final whistle. Thank you for your time.
Hello everyone for our coverage. We've pitched up here in the Midlands of England. We're at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Leicester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Fred plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. It should be! And the verdict of the officials is offside. Well, he just gets caught ball watching here needs to be more alive work harder to keep on side and be ready for the chance and possession lost by Spurs well they put in many exceptional performances away from home so no surprise to see that Spurs have the best record in the league Stuart well 14 wins from 16 tells you just how good they've been on their travels and I think key to their success has been their midfield They've been so dominant with and without the ball. It's hard to see them not winning again today. Daka. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Oh, great attacking play. Nemanja Maksimovic it's with Kaku changing situation in the Leeds game there's been a goal there Alex Scott with the news it's a goal for Chelsea they're the first on the score sheet here with 13 minutes played thanks as always to Alex Scott and the referee says penalty This to make it 1-0. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, here's the replay, and it's almost the perfect penalty. Keepers guessed the right way, but it's tucked so far into that corner, it's almost impossible for him to save. That's how you take a spot kick. So underway again here, 1 0 the score. Daka. Well, no stopping him, but quick thinking defensively. Ruben Neves. Fred. And teammates around him. Oh, my goodness! What an outrageous hit! I can't believe he took it on from there, and neither can the goalkeeper. Well, look at the replay here, because they don't come much better than this. He hits it so sweetly. What a goal this is.